What is up team? Chuck with Traders War Room and I'm back at you with another video. Guys, this is your Thirsty Thursday and I got a great video in store for you with tons of stocks, lot of picks and other things to get you a plan in motion so we can make money. What I need you to do right now is hit that like, share, subscribe button and I need you to come along with us on the journey. Check the description tab out. Tons of tools and tidbits to make you a more successful trader right there at your fingertips. Guys, without further ado, are you ready for war? And if you want, answer is yes, then all I got to say to you is follow me and let's go to war together. Traders War Room, let's get it. Stay tuned at the end of the presentation because that's where I'm going to describe hot TWR products and services and upcoming classes, all in an effort to help you make money. Guys, trade of the day today, we had some killer trades. Basically, we looked at SPY and we went ahead and got into a SPY contract, 380 call, played on the momentum to the upside, 175 entry, 310 exit. That's $135 per contract and maybe options aren't your thing. You like to do shares. Well, we had you covered, guys. NRSN was booming because of Alzheimer's disease news and stuff like that. We went ahead and entered at 390 and exited at 445, and that is a 55 cent per share come up, guys. Killer trades, definitely doing the thing. The bottom line is we're destroying the market no matter which direction it goes, no matter what style we're doing, we're making money and making moves. Guys, are you ready for war? Because Traders War Room is, and if you are, join today and let's go to war together. Without further ado, let's get into it. Market close today. Guys, read right across the board, it was not a good close for the market. Futures not looking too good. Guys, remember, futures are just to give us a glimpse into what could be, not what will be, guys. We use them to get a plan in motion. And here's your top trending stocks. Guys, MU, Pfizer, and a whole bunch of other ones. Oil had a terrible day today. Definitely gonna look at some of those charts here in a moment. Market closing review, here we go. We got our total market image, guys. You can see it just like I see, a sea of red, and that is why the market closed the way it did. Guys, here's our ETF image, still the same. The only green stuff is those fixed incomes and those inverse ETFs. Here's our sector performance. Utilities and industrials were the only ones that really did something good. Energy and consumer discretionary were the big losers. And here's your calls versus puts. This is where the big money is going, guys. You wanna follow the flow. We got a lot of money going in and out of these big time tickers. So definitely paying attention and making moves. Hot stocks and sectors. Here we go, we got the penny stocks, guys. If you guys aren't paying attention to the penny stocks, you are missing out on some runners, guys. You need to pay attention to this. Here's our best performing industries, renewable industry. Again, this was the other day, it was the best performing industry. And here's some of the hot stocks in order on the top renewable energy stocks, guys. JKS was doing his thing, GEVO, and I saw a lot of movement on DQ, guys. We're paying attention to these moving in, closing out this week, and looking towards next week. Worst stocks, guys, worst performing sector was uranium. Now, I put this on here because we want to pay attention to the worst sectors because they offer opportunities for the reversal, guys. And here's your worst sector stocks in that uranium, LEU, and some other ones. I'm not familiar with a lot of these, but DNN is one that I've paid attention to, and the U's. I paid attention to those pretty good, but we're definitely watching these because these can always turn around and definitely go to the upside top story the msci global stock index has the biggest first half drop on record guys the global stock index notched its biggest first half of the year percentage drop on record on thursday while the u.s benchmark s p had its steepest percentage drop for the first six months since 1970. huge news guys exclusive meta grids uh, for fierce headwinds slower growth in second half memo guys the meta platforms is bracing for a leaner second half of the year as it as it copes with the macroeconomic pressures and data privacy hits to its ad business according to internal memo guys if you don't know this is where the big money comes into facebook and meta and all those things like that is through the advertising so if they're getting hit on that that's huge revenue that's coming in we're expecting some probably some downward pressure on these big social media giants and finally, Bitcoin falls below 19,000, further shaking the crypto market. And I saw on an inventory or a news about the crypto heist um, lady who created some sort of crypto coin over there overseas. And now they're looking for her because she like swindled millions of dollars out of people. So definitely Bitcoin is not as is not being seen as stable or as a hedge for inflation as people thought it was at first. 
Docs and charts, what looks good moving forward. So let's get into the meat and potatoes of this particular video. Here's your stocks and charts, what looks good. Earnings, guys, earnings this week, not looking too big and too much, but we're looking for some movers and we saw some shakes that definitely shook the marketplace after hours. MU was one of those and we're paying attention to it. So we're gonna see what we got closing out this week and try to look into next week on the Sunday video for some earnings movers. So hot ETF check right now, spy bearish. And with the long weekend, I'm thinking a pop at the beginning, but it closes lower, guys. That's just basically going off of the chart and going off the sentiment. I think maybe we start to see a little revamp to the upside. We wick out to the top, and then we keep going lower to test those bottom levels. Oil, it got destroyed today, and I think it continues to go down, guys. This is one of those natural gas uh, stock names that is getting hit hard in the energy sector, and the energy sector as a whole is just getting dumped on. I think these continue down for a little bit and the bottom is not here. I'll be looking to get into some of these once we do get a clear sign of a bottom shelf is hit. But right now, I don't think we have that sign yet. SMH, the semiconductors are getting bashed, guys. And I think we got more downside going. You know, the outlook for the semiconductor supply and demand is not looking good. It's also still looking grim on, you know, people spending the money to get these new products that the semiconductors are being used for. So we're definitely paying attention to this. One of those things will be that chip bill that's trying to get passed. And we'll talk about that when we review uh, Intel chart but definitely we are waiting it's kind of been a waiting period until then i think until we get some solid news that gives us a defined direction we continue to go down but one of the sectors in the green and i think we're going to co be considered as a safer option i'm bullish on is xlv guys it's a healthcare etf and i do like the stocks that are inside of here and this is going to be a relatively safer option for some of those long investors that want to kind of tuck money away in something that may not you know, get hit as hard as during volatility and inflation, stagflation, deflation, all those type of flation things, okay? I think XLV will give you an opportunity to make some money, and I think we go higher from here. You know, I don't think we're we're done uh, moving up. I like this little shelf we got here. I think we pop to the upside. We got a little bit of movement, maybe five to 10 dollar movement to the upside on this one. Stocks, jumps and dumps. Let's get into Apple, okay? I'm bearish short term, bullish long. I think a period of some range consolidation to the downside is in order, but guys, it's never a good, it's never a bad idea to go ahead and get yourself some Apple shares. I'm a big fan on this. This is one of those that you hold long, but going short term, we're definitely looking like we're going to the downside. Next one is ACCD. 50-50 on this trade uh, on this particular stock. I've never really tr uh, traded. I'm just going pure off of momentum and the news and the chart. <clears throat> but it could definitely spike with some volume. But we got to remember it's Friday, so we got to use caution. So I'm kind of using the trigger thing. If I start to see it trending above the 770, I may pull the trigger for some uh, for some shares going to the upside. Um, if it's coming down and looking to the downside, I may try to short this. I don't even know if this has options. I haven't looked at that, but we're paying attention to this because it could get some volume underneath its wings and this thing could definitely pop up because it had a nice little gap down that looking like it may want to fill. Going into BABA, guys, analysts are flocking to this with the most potential upside for any type of stock. People are loving this stock long term. This is the time, I guess, in my opinion, that you probably want to start getting a little stake in BABA. Now, it could have some more downside. Obviously, we've seen it lower than this before, but this is getting a lot of steam and a lot of good um, analysts are predicting that we've seen probably the bottom, the worst has been seen on this particular stock and we're looking to the upside for BABA. So I'm definitely bullish on this stock as well. Honeywell, we like this one, guys. Bullish with sell-off. It held up very well at the bottom. I think we have a bottom floor on this particular stock. This is a very good stock that's in the industrial sector. And I think we hit the bottom when we start to see some push to the upside. I love to see us go test that 180 area. And I think if we had the right sentiment and the right you know, momentum, I think we can keep the push around there. I think uh, this is getting people's interest down here at this shelf. And I think we start to get the bulls coming in. JD, I'm liking this consolidation that I'm seeing, and I believe we can see some of these China stocks run a bit more. I'd like to see this push to the upside. I think 68, 70 bucks 
for a test on those top levels is in order and I, I you know maybe not today maybe not tomorrow but I think soon so going out two to four weeks uh, pushing out a little bit out of the money I think would be a little safe bet on this particular stock. Meta broadening at the bottom and we just went over that news that they had pinning direction. I think this moves lower in my opinion. They're just, it's not looking good. The ad revenue dollars, they're gonna to have to do something. They gotta give us some information until we get that. This continues to drop, going to the bottom. And I think we hit that floor and we probably peak below. MU, huge dump after hours. I'm thinking the struggle is real with the semiconductors. I think we continue down. I do apologize, that is green and it's supposed to be red. But nevertheless, the sentiment is still the same with this one. We continue to go down. I think we peak to the bottom. We're going to find a shelf and then we'll start to see probably a reversal. But guys, this is going to be very volatile to the bell. So just get ready for it. NVDA continues to trend downward with the other ones. And again, you know, we've seen this before. We continue a little bit further down. We'll probably get a lot of relief spiking up, spiking down. But I do think we continue to go down until we get that chip news, that the, the chip deal that the Biden administration is trying to get past Congress. And Pfizer, I'm liking this for continuation in the healthcare sector is cute as a safer bet. I like this for a push above where we're at, looking like it potentially could break out to go test those previous highs that it's had. Shop bearish as this continues down, floor is near, but not yet in my opinion. It got some more move to the downside. And by the way, this chart is prior to the split. INTC, guys, we were talking about that just a second ago, waiting on Congress for the CHIP Act. If you build it, they will come. Guys, I'm long on this one. I think this is at the bottom for this particular one because they are the ones that are trying to really build that factory that's going to be the world's largest chip manufacturing factory over there. And I think it's Ohio, I think I said. Uh, it was either Ohio or Oklahoma. I think it's Ohio, but guys, if that gets along, these guys are back in the door with um, a great company. So I am bullish long-term INTC. I think this is the right price to go ahead and go long, go far out if you're doing options, go out as far as you can. And uh, if you're doing shares, get as much as you can at these lower levels and just hold for a long time. And guys, that's it. All right, new sector that we have, Pro Perspective. Guys, the topic today is gonna be managing. And we're gonna talk about be, no, do. Dropping them knowledge bombs, guys. So basically, be, no, do, okay? This is an army and a military type of saying, but it really hits home when you're talking about managing your portfolio or managing your investments and stuff like this. So I want you guys to be the CEO of your investments. Trade and invest like it's a business to make money. Every little bit counts, guys. If you're just out here having fun and whatever, you know, you know, hats off to you. But you know, this is not just a fun environment. I enjoy doing this. I have fun doing it. But at the end of the day, I'm in this to make money, and I look at it like a business. I want you guys to do that as well. Know what you're doing, what you're investing in, and how to trade the current market. You must not be scared to jump in, but you need to have a plan and a strategy that works. And that goes back to understanding yourself and going in and digging in and doing the work so that you can trade your personality with the tools that you have that make sense for you as an investor. And finally, do what you must to always stay competent and ever evolving to the changing landscape. Do self-DED and not rely on other enter and exit alerts. Do always constantly strive for improvement and refinement of current strategy and plan. Guys, these entry and exit alerts are fantastic to give you an edge in your trading, okay? But if you are solely relying on them, eventually they're gonna fail. So you need to be able to understand why these alerts came in. You know, Chuck Fu sent this alert on GM. Why did he say to buy this at this particular price? Go to the chart, check it out. See if it makes sense to you on why that alert came through. Because every time I send out an alert, I have a system and I stay consistent with my system. And sometimes I lose, but a lot of times my system, I've dialed it in, I've refined it, I've improved it for the current market. And we're doing a lot of good things and making a lot of people some money. So definitely know your environment and do your homework, guys. 
And that's it, team. I want you to invest in yourself in 2022. I want you to quit wasting money that doesn't make money, guys. And thank you. Stay tuned here in just a short second for some exciting info on Traders World new products and services. All right, guys, products and services that we provide are free and paid services, real-time buy and sell alerts, live trading, one-on-one -on -one mentoring, trading classes, fantastic community. The list goes on and on and on. You guys get the point, something for everybody. We have so much more than just my alerts. So if you're used to my alerts, thank you for following them, showing me some love. But guys, I got 25 real-time alerting analysts and AI trading bots, all kinds of styles, stocks, option, crypto, forex, long, short days, swing spread, leaps, you name it, we got it. Something for everybody, guys. Something for everyone, every style, every budget. I want you guys to come get some with Traders War Room. We got right now going a five-day trial with our gold membership. Come try out our real-time buy and sell alerts. Come try out our premium research and development center. Come try out our premium chat groups. See if you like it. If you don't, you go back to being a free member. Like I said, if you don't like it, you stay premium. You go back to being a free member. It's all good. We're killing it. We want you to stay. One-on-one -on -one mentoring. We want to help you develop skills, gain confidence, receive guidance, refine strategies, get a pro perspective, and explore new plans of attack. Guys, if you are struggling out there, with trying to get profitable and consistently profitable, you got questions or answers. We have multiple plans for every type of budget. Each session, you receive the recording and a slide deck that highlights the content covered. Book your session today and come get your knowledge on it. And we got our instant messaging platform, less noise, just alerts. Guys, if you're overwhelmed with your alerting platform, we got something for you. It comes through like a text message, gives you the alerts, gives you stocks, gives you good ideas. And all this is just money making ideas, man. Definitely check it out. In Traders World classes, we got upcoming and historical classes. Check out what we have on inventory. You go to traderswarroom.com, you know, you see what we have, you get a class, you make some, you know, you learn, you grow, you share. And our philosophy is every battle needs a plan. We want you to build your plan with Traders War Room. So come check us out today, guys. Next class that we have coming up is 10 July at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. The cost is $15. You keep recording. You can't make it live. We got you covered. That's what the recording is for. But you're going to learn what moving averages are, how to relate to market trends, and how to use the moving averages for massive wins. So definitely check it out at traderswarroom.com slash upcoming classes. Get your seat reserved today, and I'll see you there on 10 July. Thank you. Smart plans, always train, proper management, secure your money. Let's go to war.